Alec Manassian's motivation for the Young Street van attack in 2000 may all have been uh, have been a lie. The 28 year old has pleaded not guilty to 10 counts of murder and 16 counts of attempted murder, a case that hinges on whether the autistic man was criminally responsible. As Lisa Hefner reports from today's court testimony, the 28 year old told different stories to different psychiatrists. In this interview with a police detective hours after he attacked random pedestrians with a rented van, Alec Manassian said he associated with an internet subculture that glorifies violence. Involuntary celibacy means this wasn't your choice. You I see. essentially are, uh, have been thrown into true forced loneliness and you're unable to lose your virginity. Court heard from a psychiatrist that Manassian was obsessed with another mass killer, Elliot Roger, and read his manifesto daily for months before carrying out his plan. Manassian was assessed by different specialists in a secure psychiatric facility at St. Joseph's Healthcare in Hamilton. Some of those doctors are now being called to testify by defense lawyers trying to make the case that Manassian didn't really understand it was wrong to kill. Today, Prosecutor John Rinaldi questioned the pretense behind yesterday's testimony that Manassian had fallen prey to dark internet chat groups, vulnerable because of his developmental disorder. It's pretty clear he was not indoctrinated by Elliot Roger, Prosecutor John Rinaldi said. He had mass murder on his mind well before that. Manassian, seen here making a dramatic project for a college class, had started fixating on mass murders in high school, 11 years before the Young Street attack. When he got depressed, about once a month, he would research school shootings on Wikipedia. He had earlier murder plans, but abandoned them when he couldn't figure out how to get a gun. Manassian lied during this police interview, at least during some portions. And the prosecutor told the psychiatrist on the stand that he told a different doctor it was all a lie. Manassian told the second doctor, who has yet to testify, that he didn't really identify with the incel subculture much at all. This incel-related Facebook message was composed shortly after Manassian rented the van. He posted it moments before he decided to start hitting people. Manassian told the second doctor he wanted to be listed among the incel killers. It would sound better in the media than the real reason. He was anxious. He was intensely afraid of failing at his new job the following week. We really don't know when he's telling the truth. It's a problem, is it not? The prosecutor asked. The second doctor is expected to begin testifying on Monday. Lisa Hafner, CHCH News.